Greetings. I am Black Light. I lost 24-7. Today my intentions are to teach you in 10 or 15 minute spurts or 10 or 12 spurts who the black man is and who is the real devil. Start off reading from the uh, student enrollment rules of Islam, supreme wisdom lesson by Master Farad Muhammad to his servant, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, for the lost foundation of Islam. Who is the original man? Answer, the original man is the Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, God of the universe. We're going to stop it right there. What I'm trying to do today is to show you the real root of all the problems in the world today and do it in a way that it will be easy for you to comprehend. Uh, I don't believe in debates. There was a time where we were debating the Caucasian, at the same time we were debating each other. Those days have passed. Because of the coming of tele television. Television gives you a version of reality and that version that they give you is the version that the Caucasian has uh, designed to mislead the whole planet We're going to stop that right there. Now, there's a war been going on for a long time. Most people don't know. They just think it's just starting. But the war of Armageddon is World War Three. It just came in stages at certain levels. The war is the war of Armageddon and it's against the black man. Now you say, well, they're getting ready to fight or have a battle or do, do war with Iran. Well, they've been fighting Iran, just on a different level. The economic sanctions killed a whole lot of uh, Iranians. And uh, they had a, a deal with Saddam Hussein to fight Iranians. Now, what they're really trying to hold back is the black man because the black man is God and his religion is Islam. 
we'll explain that as we go. We'll explain that as we go. Now, my uh, dialect is going to be like that of the streets because I'm a musician and I'm like no one in my family, sort of like some, but not exactly. And I'll explain that, explain that later. But I want to get started into uh, giving you an insight on this war that's about, about to escalate gradually. See, who is the colored man? Answer, the colored man is the Caucasian white man, Yakub's grafted devil, the skunk of the planet Earth. Now, have you ever asked yourself why we talk in terms of color when no one is really white, no one is really actually black, not at this point in time. See that black star? At one time it was people dark black in that black star. But have you ever asked yourself what difference does it make? And people say it don't make no difference. Well, if it didn't make no difference, why did the Caucasian man purposely say Jesus was white or Caucasian? Purposely said that Jesus uh, is God, the Son of God, and the Holy Ghost. Why did the Caucasian try to wipe out your history, the black man's history, And in the school system, he don't teach the black man's history beyond or before uh, slavery. Why is that? Well, let's start with the colors. Why do dark-skinned people, brown, even uh, yellow, have that color? Because a Yakub who grafted from the black man a recessive gene and that recessive gene became the Caucasian. Now why is it that the Caucasian can't, he gets sunburned very so easily? Because your skin is an intelligent organism that protects and is the first line of defense from anything. And so if you don't have all the necessary ingredients to protect yourself from the harsh elements, which really... The sun is really not a harsh element, but it's a life-giving element to the black man, but to the white man or the Caucasian man. If he don't protect his skin artificially because he don't have the melanin, which is that of the black man, 
then he will burn up with skin cancer. So now if that's the case, how is he God? How is he the son of God? And how is he the Holy Spirit? He's none of those things. He's a grafted man, artificial man, from the real man. But the, the real man is not a, a, a human being. The real man is Allah, God, or the universe. But what's this have to do with Iraq? I mean, Iran. The culture that comes from Allah is Islam. The science, the uh, so-called religion, for lack of a better word, this all comes from the black man. And it goes back past Kemet. Kemet was a remnant of the last stages of uh, The culture of the black man, the real culture. We're living in an artificial culture here. This is part one. I haven't figured out what I'm going to call it, but stay tuned and catch the vibe.